Jiwan hoped for. She entrusted Jin Soyun to you, Jiansei, in hopes that you both would help one another grow. You gave her a happy life, even with all that's befallen you both. The sacred relic, Dawn's Edge, resonated with Jin Soyun's heart. Her purified spirit and desire to help you were manifested by the blade. It revealed the truth and awakened her power. While it was shrouded in dark chi, the strength of Dawn's Edge was suppressed. But now it too has awakened once more. We have little time, but there are still preparations that must be made. I will call for you when we are ready to open the gates to the Divine Realm. Keep Dawn's Edge safe, for now. The time to act will soon be upon us, so be ready. Alive and well, friend of the realm. I am relieved. I couldn't find a way further north. What happened? I see. The master-student relationship can be fraught with difficulties, though your cases are particularly unusual. I am sorry. So, what will you do now? The sages intervene yet again. I suppose they're trustworthy? You seem to be in good hands, so I will make my way back to the monastery. You must prepare both soul and body for the events to come. As for the former, always consider Ajanara Monastery your shelter from the storm. I take my leave. Fate casts us to the winds once more. Who's there? Foolish little warrior. That's impossible. Foolish little warrior. Stop! No! Oh, like Stop! Like Foolish little warrior. in pieces. My brothers and sisters, the time has come to end it where it all began. All shall gather under the sword and witness the long-awaited glory of the Ebon Drake. I see moving underground hasn't stopped the Ebon Drake from terrorizing the citizens. Thanks for clearing them out. You did more than help, warrior. How many dozens of cultists did you take out? And here I thought they were losing members. My team will clear the hostages and inspect every inch of this prison for clues. We're running out of time before the coronation. Cryptic. I'll send it to the experts. And that reminds me, I received a letter asking for help. Unfortunately, we can't prioritize it. It's from Bei Ling. Time has been good to you, warrior. You must be taking very good care of yourself. And that weapon, my my. It feels like ages since you popped in here with Ku Yang. <laughs> now there's a talented swordsman. Those were happier times. Now I spend so much time worrying that I can barely crawl out of bed in the morning. I could never beat around the bush with you. Honestly, warrior, this is not a pleasure call. We're in crisis. Not just people, my employees. The Stratus soldiers jumped at their chance to rescue their own. But every time I filed a missing persons report, it fell on deaf ears. I know it's the Ebendrake warrior. They've said such dirty things about my business, about my girls. The cult just sent me a letter saying they'll purify my workers from their sinful flesh. The Ebendrake Keep. It's their last stronghold. Are you familiar with it? Thank you. I'll have to find some way to make it up to you. And poor Kang Sam's been worried sick. He 
He's such a good boy. Always chasing new leads, fetching groceries, scaring off the riffraff. But since my girls have gone missing, he just sits there and mopes, waiting for them to return. Thank you, warrior. You saved us. Wait, I think I've seen you before. You're the one that Fei Ling is always talking about. She says you're quite the tease. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. It all happened so quickly. They brought my sister and I here and told us we were unclean and depraved. They said they had a medicine that would cleanse us, but we refused. Others took it. They transformed into those things. I think they took her further in. Warrior, I have no right to ask anything more of you, but if you find it in your heart to take pity on a courtesan, please find my sister. She's not a perfect person. No one is. But I owe her my life. Thank you. Her name is Sunu. I think they wanted to use her for some plot against the princess. Maybe if you save my sister, you'll save Namsoyu as well. I... I believe you. Thank you. Divines bless you, warrior. <laughs> I thought it was all over. I felt the shadows close in, so I whispered a prayer, and you two showed up. Hey, he's grabbing at my hem. Is this your friend? He looks so familiar. Well, I owe you both my life. Thank you. Please drop by soon. I must find a way to repay you. Ah, Master Hong's favorite pet. Playing with the Evan Drake. Surely you have better things to do. Why not chase after that pasty flea bag? Just remember, nine tails are better than one. sensed an imbalance, something from the Dark Realm. She was drawn to you, no doubt. Your chi still holds a bit of the Divine, a gift from Master Hong. Then it is as I feared. The one you saw is a member of the Dark Lord's inner conclave, a powerful spirit the likes of which has never set foot on the Earthen Realm, until now. This all goes back to Mushin's meddling. The realms are converging. The balance is giving way to chaos. Now that the other sages and I have attuned ourselves to the Dawn's Edge, we have all that we need to open a portal to the outskirts of the Divine Realm. However, we have a problem. Mushin has found a way to bar us from the Divine Realm. It should come as no surprise that he is keeping his former mentors at bay. But without our guidance, you cannot pass through the portal. 
The places between the realms are perilous. You could be lost to eternity. You cannot go without a guide. But we may have found one for you. A fairy hound of the Divine Order. One who once escorted souls to the external expanse. You know of the one I speak. Now, you must convince him to help us. 